What's good? What's good? Welcome to Hood Mona Lisa. I want to take the time out to say thank you, God. Thank you, angels, and thank you, ancestors. I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming up in here, listening in. All right, so we got our uh, John George Jr., Betty Sinclair Reed. We're in Sinclair's house. I have Sinclair right there on the title um, on the screen. Good view. All right. You got it. All right. So hopefully, like I said, if you if I didn't say it, uh, get your tea, your coffee, your soda, whatever kind of beverage you like, swallow spit, whatever. Okay. So um, who's going to read the energy or whatever? It's been a lot of crazy shit going on. Uh, Valentine's Day or Valentine's Night. Say it like that. I mean, I feel the love. I feel the love from God. You know what I'm saying? Um, overall. And I have love for myself. And um, I receive love. And it's not cheesy. It's for real, for real, you know? Um, right before we started this live, um, I was talking to God, Gordon, and ancestors, like I always do. Uh, how content I am. And that's the best love to have, to be content. And then also, um, they were stating to me, you know, the jealousy of people. Just because you can't be content, you know, it's priceless. You can't put a price on that. And that's beautiful. And I appreciate, I mean, I, I appreciate God for the angels and ancestors, you know, for sharing that with me, giving it to me and all of that. I mean, it's all going to go into the read. I don't know. Somebody needs to hear this because obviously they're not showing gratitude. They're not checking themselves. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is not a daycare. Cleet is Cleetta. But uh, check your own vibe, you know, before you try to check somebody else's vibe or whatever the case may be or something like that. But we're going to read the energy. And I'm just talking right now. You know, I'm not even, I mean, I got the deck sitting here and I got um our flash. Also, I didn't even say anything. You're worth past million, millions. The number seven. So that's, you know, a significant, you know, I had this flash sitting to the side. And, um, uh, that's about it, you know. But I have the deck and I have, you know, flashes and everything. But enough rambling or anything like that, but I'm not really rambling. It's very informative, like showing gratitude, check yourself. You know, just so somebody else don't have to, you know, just be happy with contentness. And um, people are jealous of that, you know, it's a big thing. All right, you're worth past millions. Let's see. I'm, I got the traditional tarot sitting here. Okay, let's see. All right, so we got the chariot, and then we got the seven of pentacles. Um, they're all supposed to be in the upright, so I'm going to grab this portion in reverse. But the seven of pentacles is in reverse, planting seeds. A few of them is like it's mixed in. Hmm. Okay. Somebody planting a seed of movement. Don't want you to move forward. Be balanced, because, you know, chariot or whatever is balanced in your emotions and feelings. Major arcana. Corneal type of energy. Then I've seen the temperance. That's another balance type of card. But it's multiple balance. Then I've seen the lovers. Another multiple, too. Multiple love to share. You know, balanced love. You know, masculine and feminine. And then balancing out aggression. With those feelings and actions, with the temperance. All right, first cards. We got the Eight of Swords and then the Eight of Wands. So somebody wants to set themselves free from some type of communication. It looks like it's an emperor, queen of swords, a magician, or whatever. Somebody trying to manifest something or manifest their ways away from some type of toxicity is what I'm getting. Seeing the King of Wands, so it's like sexually or something like that. Queen of Cups showing itself, first two cards, Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Could be overindulgence, could be uh, this happy home life, you know what I'm saying? Going back to the fact that, like I said, um, it's the night of Valentine's Day. When we're in Sinclair's home or whatever, okay? That's just the topic, and you're worth past millions or whatever. It's a lot of side notes, but somebody is wishing for this Ten of Cups happiness, you know what I'm saying? Not being content within themselves. 
wanting what somebody else has, or they're not showing gratitude. They're overindulging. They got plenty of things, but they're not showing gratitude for those things. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this type of vibe. And then they constantly lose, or they're going to constantly lose because they keep talking about what they don't want. Eight of Cups comes out. So it's like walking away from third parties, uh, codependency, crying over spilt milk, shapeshifters, people that only want to be there for a good time, not for a long time. Um, they only want to be there when the project is complete. Not while, you know, you're trying to build it. Where's the pure people at? I just hear a whole bunch of complaining and nagging about a whole bunch of, like, I mean, that don't make the situation better by complaining and nagging all the damn time. King of Cups comes out. So this is a couple. Let's see what else comes out before I even say something because we got the king and the queen of cups out here. When is all this going to be over and I'm going to get my love? Or when is my love going to come together? Or when I'm a, you know, that's what I'm getting. Nine of swords comes out. This is nice wearing and all that. Want your match or whatever. Overindulgence, overgiving yourself, overoffering your time. Um, not uh, being appreciative of what you already have. Knight of Swords after the Nine of Swords. Six of Wands after the Knight of Swords and the Empress. Right here. So this is what I'm getting. All right, so since we in Sinclair's house or whatever, this is a John Betty, uh, John George Jr. Betty Sinclair storyline, and John George Jr. is supposed to be stuck and wrapped up with this Betty character, and this Betty character buys their love. You see what I'm saying? Buys everything they want to need, but they're not happy and satisfied, right? And Sinclair is supposed to be the one that stands up for herself. You see what I'm saying? Stands for something. You see what I'm saying? Not just trying to be bought and sell themselves up or whatever, they're hardworking, uh, they're a woman of their word, you know, and this Betty has a problem with this Sinclair, like, if this bitch would have never came into the picture, then I would have still had him wrapped around my finger, is what I'm getting, so this energy that I was talking about, this person that's overindulgent and not showing gratitude, is not the Sinclair, it's not the divine, the high divine, Feminine is not the high vibe, it's the low vibe and energy, the karmic energy, the Betty character. Nothing against the names or anything like that, but I'm just saying, you know, with the storyline, catch my drift. All right, All right so I feel on the side, man. Come on. We got the world that came out in reverse, so it's like a cycle that they don't want to end. They want to keep this going. I don't want to let him go. I want to stay with him. Even I want him to stay with me even if he ain't happy. Strength card in reverse. You know, that's weak. You know, showing your BC side, showing your other colors, like your nasty side. The Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse, so she wants to send out delay. She, she don't want him to leave. Whether he uh, happy or not, she want him to stay with her. Eight of Wands comes out. That's communication. News. She like, whether he happy or not, I don't care if he loves Sinclair or not. I want him to be with me. I want him to suffer with me. The hangman came out. Awaken to the truth. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's doing it on purpose. Like, Ten of Pentacles comes out. So she wants this legacy with him. She don't want the karmic Betty 
doesn't want the divine feminine Sinclair to have John George Jr. Because John George Jr. had a choice. He was at a crossroad, um, had the choice on if he wanted to stay in low vibing situations or if he wanted to move forward and be high vibing and trusting God, an answer to God. In the midst of this, he had to make a decision, got judgment, everything being revealed. He's going to have to make a decision. Will of Fortune comes out sideways. So in his Akasha record, in this bloodline, are you going to live or die? <laughs> I heard it's this clip with Chris Brown. <laughs> he come on. Have you ever been swallowed? Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? All right, so we got the Two of Swords with the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords, along with the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. So she's cooking up a potion, a spell, a love offer, something to boost his ego to try to get him to stay or trap him in a situation. It's what I'm getting. She's spying. Trying to figure out a way how she can keep him stuck. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, High Priest, the Sun, and the Three of Swords. So she's talking to people or trying to like network to see how she can make this happen. The card that fell down. Ace of Cups fell up under the seat. So it's like, like I said, she's trying to cook up something to make him get stuck, sick tied to her in some type of way where he could be wounded and can't move, can't go anywhere. So he could be stuck in a situation longer and she just want to sit back and watch him suffer and act like she's not causing the suffering but she really want him to be stuck to her. But he ain't going to never see her as a star. <laughs> let's say he don't be say if John George Jr. doesn't choose Sinclair he ain't gonna never like Betty cause she's unclean like she's not pure I wanted to say she's unpure she's unclean the tower is showing this stuff I see the seven of cups and the page of wands the illusion or spells or options that they're gonna throw out it's not gonna stick the tower's in reverse gonna be broken down this uh john george jr uh character is gonna move forward regardless gonna dead that shit i see the devil i see the death card following that and then god sitting right here with the hair pump god is gonna dead that shit and high vibe is going to dead that shit all right you guys i hope this was helpful to you i'm sending you peace and love